I would like to welcome you on behalf of the University, especially the Faculty of Humanities, on behalf of BAC, Basis for Actuele Kunst, the Contemporary Art Center located in Utrecht, and on behalf of Studio Kinrade. My name is Melanie Peters, I'm the director of Studio Kinrade, and thank you for coming through this weather to listen to our speaker tonight. Um, for those of you who don't know Studio Kinrade very well, I would just like to say that we are here almost every night of the week, and you can come in, it's always free, it's open to students, lecturers, and any member of the public who's interested to come and listen. And it's provided to you uh, by the university with the idea of sharing knowledge, looking at how sciences interrelate and art we consider as one of the sciences in this, uh, uh, in this way. Um, for tonight, uh, this will be the third lecture in a series that's called Citizens and Subjects. And I would like to give the microphone to Maria Hayakova, who's a curator of the Biennale of Venice Pavilion just to say a few words and fill you in those of you who weren't here because it's always our aim that you could come and sit in any lecture and without any prior knowledge, without studying we're trying to speak at an academic level but we're not uh, requiring you to study before you come here so that's why it would be nice to say a bit more about the context of the lecture series tonight and I would like to give the microphone to Maria Thank you Melanie Good evening everybody, my name is Maria Hameva and I'm a curator of um, the Dutch contribution to the Venice Biennale in 2007. I'd like to welcome you all. Uh, I feel I, I would like to uh, thank each of you individually um, to, to come uh, to play in, um, in such weather as well. I, I would like to say a few words um, about why did we prepare this series of as well as I said, I curated Dutch contribution to the Venice Biennale. Venice Biennale is the largest uh, international perennial exhibition that exists since 100 years. And the Netherlands has a beautiful uh, pavilion in Venice, built by Rietveld, where every two years um, Dutch contemporary artists are presented. This year, a project uh, developed for this, uh, for this context uh, was titled, or is titled, titled Citizens and Subjects, and consists of three parts. And in Venice there is um, still uh, on view exhibition, a project by Arnold Mink titled Citizens and Subjects Arnold, uh, Arnold Mink. The second part of the project is a reader that accompanies the project where uh, scholars, writers, um, artists and art theorists debate the issues um, um, that the project uh, deals with, which mainly is the enduring state of fear and anxiety stemming from various threats, real or imagined, um, that's persisting uh, within the so-called Western condition, as we, as we named it. The second part of the reader is called the Netherlands, for example, Citizens and Subjects. And the third part is a series of lectures and seminars um, titled Citizens and Subjects, Practices and Debates. Uh, indeed, practices and debates indicate what we want to look, want to look at. We want to look at other type of discourses, um, other type of practices in various fields and disciplines um, that touch upon the issues that are far and crossed. The, the third part of the project is, is envisioned as a sort of extension in a number of directions. One is, um, of course, in space and time. So we felt it was quite important not to have a series of lectures. Um, in Venice, but extend the pavilion symbolically to the Netherlands and go beyond the, the opening of the ex exhibition or even the duration of the exhibition. But also what's very important for us is to extend to other fields, uh, to other sides of knowledge, um, um, where we try to invite um, key thinkers in various, from various fields uh, dealing with sim similar issues that we do. Another sort of extension or extension in another direction is extending to institutions in the field of art, such as Fanaba Museum, or within the within Rotterdam dealing uh, with similar issues or interested in similar issues. And of course, um, uh, extending to our most important partner, Utrecht University and Studio General. Thank you for the, for the collaboration. I'd like to say that the project was commissioned by the Mondrian Foundation. And um, the third part, um, the, this whole series was made uh, possible by uh, City Council. And, um, and
another very important partner from Utrecht that we developed the series with is the uh, Freilefeld Utrecht Treaty of Utrecht. But so far, the, the main information to, to position uh, this evening was in the larger project of the Dutch contribution to the Venice Biennale. And I will return the floor to Melanie so that she introduces um, our very special guest tonight. Thank you. So, as Maria explained, this, this series of lectures is part of the Biennale. It's her idea that art should not stay in a pavilion, but that the, this important topic should be discussed everywhere in the country. And the question we have tonight is why in the Netherlands and in the Western world we haven't come to terms with immigration, neither morally or politically. And the speaker we asked tonight is Professor Dr. Paul Schnabel. Uh, he is a university uh, professor at our university and he's also the director of the Social and Cultural Planning Bureau or Agency of the Netherlands. The interesting thing and special thing about him is that he's equally at home in the academic world, in the, among policy makers, politicians, but also in industry. But for tonight we, will, you know, we asked him <laughs> We asked him to speak as an academic and to take a step back from the political turmoil we're in in this country and to look from um, his position uh, from the Social and Cultural Planning Agency and look at the data and see what the temperature of the Netherlands is. So, um, could I have a very warm welcome for Professor Dr. Paul Schnabel? 